students welcome back to the 8th session of basic to advanced java series where you and me are going to learn code and execute java problems together so our problem of the day is whether to find a string has how many counts of vowels and con nonsense and how we are going to do that we are going to iterate each alphabets of a string okay for that let us create a public class let us name my class as my class let us create the entry point of our class public static void main now friends let us take a string and our string can be out of mission now we have to initialize some variables so that we can print the count of vowels and consonants so let us initialize this is to 0 and consonants to 0 now the main logic of our code begins how are we going to iterate in a string we are going to use a for loop but here we are going to use character method because we are not iterating over an integer we are iterating over alphabets character it will check str dot here at each iterations our c will be the alphabet okay so str dot 2 this is very important friends because we are iterating over a string but we have to we have to create that string into an character array so that we can iterate over it okay students so now we have to create now we have to create an if loop if loop will check if our character is a vowel or consonant or not and for that we can check a e i o u a e i o u is vowel students you all know that it will check is index of c not equal to minus 1 i'll tell you why are we using this line of code this logic here i'll tell you the index of c index of c here will be more than 0 1 2 3 or any thing that goes into the string it will be always be more than 0 so this line here will check if our character c is in a e i o u or not if it does it will return the index of c okay students it will return the index of c if our c is a e i or o or u or not if our c is not in this string a e i or o u if c is not equal to this it will return the index as minus 1 and this the whole line of code tells us is if the index of c is not equal to minus 1 then it is a vowel which means we have to increase the count of our vowel it will iterate over the each iterations it will check if our c is in e a e i or o o or u or not if it does then the character is vowel and if it not then we have to use an else loop and what are we going to check in else loop i'll tell you so in alphabet students in english alphabet if a character is vowel then it cannot be a consonant but if a character is not a consonant it has to it if a character is not a vowel it has to be a consonant so first so now we won't check if it is a consonant or not we'll just check if it is a letter or not okay students so if a if a given c is character or not for that we'll be using character is letter and we will we'll be checking for c if it is a letter if it is a letter and it is not passed in this if loop 
it is passed in this else loop it has to be a consonant so we'll just increment the value for consonant let me just check uh, my spellings yeah and now what we have to do students we just have to print our so now what we have to do students we just have to print this in a very beautiful manner then what we will do print ln first we will be writing vowels equal to plus and our vowels count then in bracket then conso mens equal to and con so nets let us run our code strings okay let me just fix all the errors there was a minor mistake with the compiler strings so for this i'll be replacing my this line of code with this i did a minor mistake here too it will index of not is index of it will be index of voila the value of our vowels is 6 and consonant is 4 let us check a is vowel u is vowel t is a consonant then o is a vowel m is a consonant then a is a vowel again then t is a consonant then i is a vowel o is a vowel and n is a consonant how many vowels six and how many consonants four so students this is our desired output thank you students keep practicing students keep learning signing off